So the dumbass who dipped popcorn all over Russell Westbrook as he was exiting the tunnel has reportedly been banned permanently from attending any events taking place at the Wells Fargo Center. So I'm going to take it as not only the 76ers, but also the Flyers, WWE, AEW, Ringling Brothers, if that's still a thing. I don't know. haven't really heard of them in decades or anything that happens at Wells Fargo Center. He's pretty much will not be able to attend it for the rest of his life. All because of a dumbass decision that he made, and that's pour, dump popcorn all over Russell Westbrook. And yes, I do agree. It's very disrespectful. Um, he had it coming. Now, for life, I think, in my opinion, that's a bit too far. But whether we agree or disagree, look, in the end, it ain't me. It's that dumbass. He did it. He had it coming. It's just crazy. You will not ever see a Sixers game in person for the next 80, 90, 100 years or whatever, all because of dipping popcorn. It, it sounds, I mean, I'm not going to expect, you know, certain people to understand it, but it, it's just, it's going to be forgotten probably in about five years or whatever. It, it just probably laugh at it in a way, but I don't know, but people people ain't gonna like my pain honestly i don't really care but let's just end it like this let's at least agree that the guy was a dumbass he had it coming you know and it is what it is don't know what possessed him to do that but serves you right if you didn't do some dumbass shit like that you still be there you'll be witnessing the 76 is going very far probably winning it out but i'm not going to go too far right there but unfortunately you're not ever going to be able to attend the Wells Fargo Center for the next 50, 60, 70 years because you dumped popcorn over Westbrook as he was exiting. You know, he was injured and everything. Had those security not held him back, he probably would have hopped up, up, all the way up there and beat his ass. But who the hell knows? I mean, I will say this, though. Russell, Russell Westbrook wasn't really happy, and as he shouldn't be. It is what it is. Let me know what you think. On to the next one. Now, one thing I do agree that this dumbass did, you know, who's a Knicks fan, spitting on the Atlanta Hawks player. Spitting on anyone, period, is extremely disrespectful. And yes, this I do agree. He deserves to get banned for this. This is, is, is nasty. It's, oh my God. And you're going to spit on somebody during a pandemic? Looks like it's going to be more than just an assault. But apparently, he could spend time behind bars. I mean, they've already permanently banned him. And for once... I do agree with, what's the guy named? James Dolan, or I, I don't know exactly. I mean, I'm not really a Knicks fan. I didn't really pay attention to the Knicks all like that. Um, But I'm talking about the guy that normally bans everybody from pretty much throwing shade or saying anything that he's not a fan of. If you say sell the team or you say James Dolan, this team sucks, you're pretty much banned from ever attending any future events at the Madison Square Garden. Um, I, I think, you know, that's some sensitive type of shit, but look, I'm not a Knicks fan, so you ain't ever got to worry. <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind going to Madison Square Garden. I, I drove by it plenty of times when I was, uh, you know, when I was at my previous job. You know, I drove by it several times. But I will say this, though. Um... It is disgusting. You would spit on somebody. I, I wouldn't spit on somebody even if I despise that person. I would never spit on anyone. The guy definitely deserved to get banned for life. Um, he's not a season ticket holder, but not only he's been banned for life, but his his uh he's all his, he's also been turned into the authorities. Well, his name has been turned into the uh, to to the authorities. My mistake. To the authorities, and I don't know if he's been arrested or not, but he could face time behind bars. But, but then again, uh, Trey Young did decide not to press charges. So not sure what's going to happen from there. But one thing we all know for sure that he has been banned from attending any future events at the Madison Square Garden. So as it always said, you play stupid ass games, you win stupid ass prizes. And that's what both of these dumbasses did. The Sixers fan and the Knicks fan. Both of them have been banned from attending any future events at their favorite team stadium so it is what it is you know had you not made that dumb decision 
you still be sitting there rooting for your team along with every other fans. Don't be surprised if they end up being fans of another team. But, you know, whatever it is what it is. Don't really care in the end. I, listen, it just I'll forget about it tomorrow. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, it is your man Desi. Check on out here. And as always, go Sixers.